<laughs> How about... No, I got it. I got it. Folks, it might have helped if I started... So this is the difference in scheduling a stream. Uh, I have to hit the go live button. That was the issue. You know what? We talked about that in the beginning. We said, hey, uh, you know, if we've got the waiting room and we got people, you know, and people can come in, do I just start streaming and then it immediately starts? Or so that's it. I start streaming. I'm connected. But then I have to hit the go live button. So apparently we've just been wasting the last five minutes. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but we are up and we are live now. So welcome into, uh, into the show. Wham says it's going down. What's going down? Is it good? Oh, so are you guys... Well, you shouldn't be watching. Is that a video? You know what, Snake Eyes? If that made it as an actual video, just go ahead and take that down. <laughs> that... Yeah, that was probably the wrong link, and it's probably just a video now, not even a live. It's just a video. See? Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, welcome in, everybody. We have had quite the busy day. Uh, I, I will say this. Those of you on my Discord, you have had a marathon day, right? We have been on the air. We never left. We did a talking, with cars with, uh, talking in cars with DJs this morning at 8 o'clock until about 9.15. Uh, I guess actually it was about an hour, so it was 8.30 to about 9.30, and then we just kind of hung out in Discord voice and Discord video, and we never stopped. We were doing that all day, uh, <laughs> and didn't, then no sleep, and we didn't stop until we decided that tonight we were actually going to do something in the game. So, uh, what I want to, uh, to do with you guys here tonight is to talk to you about what we know so far. Hopefully I'm going to spend about an hour with you. We're going to talk to you about what we know. And then we're going to look at the sarcophagus, which has been provided, and we're going to build it, okay? We're going to build it tonight, and we are going to actually try to see if we can find somebody to do a little light PvP testing. Uh, and so you guys can all say, hello, server 15. Welcome to the YouTubes. If I can type. I'm going to have to get a mic stand. I'm have to get a little mic stand for here at work, because I'm holding this mic and I can't type. Um, Wade's Farm has the sarcophagus at tier four, already 2.2 million in power, uh, and super interesting. I'd like to I'd like to test that out a little bit. But tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave um, I'm going to leave the ship at tier two. So let's start at the beginning because we've learned a few things. Okay, we've learned a few things today. Let's start with the event store uh, and the events that we've got. We'll go through the calendar and so forth because we got some interesting stuff here. All right, the two-year anniversary event still going on. Separatist hunt for battle pass again, very very normal. Rise of the sarcophagus. This was an event that is uh, giving you event store currency and a few blueprints. Now this has been the source of a great deal of angst today. All right, because in my video, I literally said that uh, that the ship was going to be behind a $300 paywall. And that is how it presented. If we come over here and look at the packs, all right, we can see there's a pack here, right here. Sarcophagus unlock, limit three, $100 a piece at 27 blueprints. You do 27 times three, it's 81 needed to unlock this ship. Okay, so that's the way it looked and that's how we presented it. But folks, more information has has presented itself today. Okay, so let's let's very quickly take a look. We've got this Rise of the Sarcophagus event. It's giving you seven blueprints. Don't forget about this. Okay, we're going to come back. Uh, let's go over here to our Battle Pass. <clears throat> in the Battle Pass, there are a few blueprints scattered in. All right, so we'll start right here. Milestone number eight in the Elite Track. And yes, this is... Uh, the $20 pack or the $100 if you want, but you can get this battle pass for as little as $20, okay? So that's the Elite Battle Pass, and there's 10 uh, blueprints right there. All right, we come over here to Milestone 10, and we get four more free out of the free track, all right? Then we come on over here, and we've got 17 more out of the Elite track, making it a total of 27 available out of the Elite track, Okay, uh, and then we come over here to milestone number 20, where they hid 
10 more blueprints in the very last free track. Now, folks, there's two very clear definitions that I want to get with, and, and I invite you guys from Discord to pop in as well and because we've been talking about this all day. All right, 27 blueprints available from the Elite track, 14 blueprints available from the Free track. Okay, this is a total of 41 blueprints, 41 blueprints that are available right now in just the battle pass. Now, all right, now for some of you who are free to play, and guys, let's be very careful in our definition. Free to play means literally free. You don't spend any money. If you buy the $20 battle pass, you are not free to play. Okay, you you might be, you know, mild pay or low pay, but you are not free to play. Okay, so I feel like <laughs> I feel like that I may have I don't want to say jumped the gun because we saw the three hundred dollar pack. That's what it looked like. Okay, but we see here 41 blueprints available to someone who spent twenty dollars. All right, then we come over here to our news center. I want to show you something else in the news center with the event that we got that shows the seven blueprints, okay? That is this. Oh, no, these are the patch notes. Where are we? Here we go. Terran Invasion. This is um, Rise of the Sarcophagus, right? That's what it was. We're going to get this three different times. Three different times. And today we can see December 8th, Rise of the Sarcophagus, available level 10, and everybody, three different events. You get it by killing hostiles. Let's go back and double check it. Again, Rise of the Sarcophagus requires you to kill a few hostiles. Not too awful bad, okay? You can spend some uncommon and materials and so forth. You're going to get some event store currency, but you got seven blueprints here. We know this event is going to happen two more times. That's a total of 21 blueprints. 21 additional blueprints on top of the 41. Folks, that is 62. 62 blueprints that we are going to get in month one if you spend the $20. Now, here is where, where we can go with this. All right, and I'm sorry if you're getting a little bit of echo. Um, my, I apologize. I don't know how to fix that for you. Um, if we're getting 61 blueprints, and by the way, thank you, NCC, for that graphic. That's actually super awesome, okay? So there's two ways that you could go about this, folks. You can go through the entire battle pass. All right. You can go through the entire battle pass and get the 62 blueprints that are needed. And if you wanted to, you could come in and buy one of these packs, basically saying that by the end of December, by the end of Arc 4, you will have all the blueprints needed for the sarcophagus. And you would only pay $120 instead of $300. That's not bad. That is not as bad as it originally was, but it's still a $120 event ship, folks. Okay? So, you know, I understand it's not as bad as $300. The situation is getting better. Okay? But now I also want to give you one more thing. And I'm going to read you a direct quote, and, uh, and we're going to leave it right there. All right? I'm going to leave, uh, read this to you very quickly. And mm, let me find it. And I'm going to read it right here. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, you can get 62 of the necessary 80 blueprints this month for $20, comma, maybe something more if there is something sweet unannounced in the future, end quote. Ladies and gentlemen, that's as much as I'm going to say about it. I have been communicating with the Scopely team all day long, and folks, there you go. $120 if you want the ship. If you know you're going to get the ship and you want to spend the $100 pack, you can do it. All right? But there could be unannounced events coming between now and the next few weeks where we might be surprised and we might be disappointed. Who knows? I'm just going to say that. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, and I'm done. All right, folks? So the original freak out, the original panic over this sarcophagus, uh, for lack of better terms, panic. <laughs> All right, may have been, may have been slightly overreaction because we didn't. And gosh, Snake Eyes, how many freaking times have we done this? You know, you would think by now that I would be a consummate professional 
and that I would not jump to conclusions, that I would fully see out the events, that I would fully math it all out, that I would actually take the time to constructively and abstractly and, and, and actually think about the events and their schedule of deployment. I mean, after all, when was the last time that Scopely ever required us to pay $300 to participate in anything? Really? Has it ever happened, folks? It hasn't happened that I know of that Scopely has required me to pay $300 just to participate. Well, folks, I can tell you... Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> whoops, sorry about that again. <laughs> Moving things. I don't think that we are in that same boat again this time. And like I said, I see a $120 path, and I could potentially see even a $20 path, which, folks, that is... That makes me so happy because I was talking with uh, with several of my friends today uh, on the on the uh, Discord, on the official Discord, on the Talking Trek Discord. This arc has actually been written super well. We even said that in the video. This arc has been written super well. All right, let's talk about some things that have actually gotten better. Let's take a look at the event store. Event store looks great. I don't know who's arguing with the event store. The event store looks phenomenal. Okay, we got Botany Bay, Plutonium. Okay, weird. But if you need it, Discovery BPs. Okay, fantastic. Hey, big country. Hey, Gregor, uh, how are you doing on cultivated mycelium? You doing all right, buddy? Oh, Gregor may... Oh, there he is. You doing all right? Uh, Gregor, talk for me for a second. Let me test your audio real fast. Just, you know... Oh, okay, good, good. I, w I had to look at the audio thing. Guys, take a look. Cultivated mycelium. Okay, Cultivated Mycelium is available in the event store. We've got the 80,000 uh, pack, which was available for $20 before. And we've got this Elite pack, which is not any different kind of Mycelium. It's just uh, the what the $100 pack would have been before. Okay, so you've got Cultivated Mycelium in here. This And this, by the way, this 150,000 exchange loot, that would last Big Country a long time. All right. At least a week in his mind, because he says he uses a hundred thousand a day. All right, hey folks, spore drive components. We asked for them to modify. We asked for them to add some stuff. All right, and it's great. It's great. All right. Now somebody's saying that my mic is mic should not be hot both in Discord and in OBS, but it is because OBS is feeding YouTube, and my mic has to feed Discord too, right? Snake Eyes, so you'll have, to, you'll have to tell me how to set that up. All right, if you think I'm getting Echo. Am I getting Echo? So what do I do? Turn. Then it won't know that doesn't work. It won't take my voice that way. We'll tinker with it. Are we getting, are we getting Echo on the actual feed? My YouTube, my YouTube stream sounds great. <laughs> it sounds great. Anyway, look here. Spore drive components, folks. For those of you listening in Discord, you're probably getting a slight echo. Sorry about that. It's not coming that way on YouTube, I don't think. Spore drive components, folks. All right, now, granted, uh, this is a convenience thing. I don't know that anybody's expected to spend 600000 of these, okay? I don't know that anybody's expected to spend 600000 of these, um, of these, uh, Terran Imperial credits, okay, <laughs> Terran Imperial credits, but uh, Gregor even mentioned, this is kind of a nice little uh, convenience thing, not having to hit one or five chests at a time, Gregor, you had indicated that this is not a bad thing if, if you're wanting to buy a lot of these, okay, uh, and, and we see that exchange here uh, in some other items, we got Devor, if you really want to work on that, I actually decided today that uh, I was going to give up on the divorce. I, I gave up. I decided I'm done with it. All right, not not doing the divorce. Not doing it. I quit. Uh, so no divorce parts. Vidar, hey folks, Vidar and Stella. How many messages have we seen on the official Discord that people are looking for Stella blueprints, folks? Here they are, and they are not expensive. Look here, twenty chests. This is the same price, the same exact price that it was. Uh, during the last event store. 76,000 event store currency for 100 BPs of Stella. 
And by the way, Vidar, same thing. 76000 for a full unlock of the Vidar. Folks, that's not that much. Look right here. I've got 67000 after day one. And we still have 37000 coming tomorrow. Okay, folks, I'm here to tell you that this event store is shaping up to be just like the ones that we've had throughout the rest of the year and that they are giving us a ton of currency. Sorry, Woody. He says I've got a bunch of Echo. I don't freaking know how to fix it. I ain't going to lie. I don't know how to fix it. Let me, let me try this real quick. Hang on. Is this better? Uh, when you guys get it on YouTube, l let's see if that makes it a little bit better. I'm sorry uh, that I'm having problems. Okay? We come over here, and here's where all the ships are. Okay? We got a bunch of ships, all the BPs, all right? All the faction miners, all the uh, epics and the rares. And, folks, then we come over here, and we've got the officer shards. Okay? Got the officer shards, including the commons, which I wouldn't necessarily spend. Even the uncommons. I, I was talking to somebody. I wouldn't necessarily mind working uh, and picking up on Hugh, all right, trying to promote him up just for that extra uh, efficiency, but uncommon shards coming better, uh, coming a little faster, so I've been told maybe to skip that. I'll tell you what, we did some very interesting testing with Ash today. I'll tell you, that's probably what I'm going to work on. Another one you guys need to be looking at is Rare Saru, a great officer, okay? Fantastic officer. And then, of course, Philippa Giorgio, the Purple Epic. These three officers, I think, would be the key out of this event store. And then, of course, we've got our materials, all right? Rare, uncommon, resources. Oh, what? Independent credits, as per usual, all right? 188,000, getting me... 5,000 independent credits. That's going to be wildly important since all of our new officers take independent credits. Minor accommodations for badges, ultra recruit tokens, discovery recruit tokens, and even down here, parts and <laughs> avatars. <laughs> okay. I mean, guys, there's everything here. This event store is everything we hoped it would be. And Scopely, great job. Well done. I am happy with this event store. So, folks, let, let's, let's keep score here tonight, okay? Uh, Scopely, I'm happy that we have looked at the path to the sarcophagus, and I'm happy that it's not $300. I'm happy. Thank you. I am happy with the event store. The event store looks as good as we've expected it to be. The only thing that I would have maybe suggested we throw in here is a couple of Borg officers. They're saying, you know, maybe some 5 to 10, a triple or something. I would have loved to have seen that, but it's not their arc, so I can understand it. We got the Discovery officers, though. This looks good. Nice job, Scopely. Very well done. Gregor, there was something else that you wanted to share with us this evening. All right, you said, hey, guys, let's take a look at the Alliance Gifts. Now, if you guys may remember, let's see, it wasn't in this one. You guys may remember here about a month or two ago, uh, here it is, the Slush Fund. If you go in and you buy elites uh, or the uh, currency for the event store, there's a gift down here. There is a gift down here, Gregor, and uh, you wanted to explain this. Go right ahead, please. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> that's all right. I know it's your work day. Here, here's what we said here about a month or two ago. A month or two ago, we said, man, why do we need that extra currency? Do you guys remember the extra currency, like the rare and the uncommon, et cetera, et cetera? Okay. Uh, we said, how about we reduce that? How about we eliminate that currency altogether? How about we just do something that allows us to use a currency we've already got and spend it on something that we want Perhaps, maybe, crazy idea, let's use Alliance credits. Well, I'll be daggone. I'll be daggone. Scopely, thank you for not introducing yet another currency. And thank you for allowing us to spend it on Alliance credits on stuff in our own store. All right. These three things, I think, were done extremely, extremely well. You've got uh, these uh, elite store currencies here, okay? You can buy 120,000. You can buy six of these packs. That is 720,000 uh, event store currency that you can buy straight out the gate, not to mention what we're going to be able to earn, all right, if you wanted to buy that much because there is good stuff in here. Now, somebody is talking about 
the Burnham shards. Let's take a quick look at the Burnham shards because I hadn't actually looked at those. I wasn't interested in Burnham, to be perfectly frank with you. I uh, was not interested in her. I was going to be working on George O and Ash Tyler. So let's take a look here. Burnham at 6,000 and Philippa at 6,800. Well, I mean, we've always known that better things are worth different amounts in here. For example, an Enterprise blueprint is not going to be the same as a Burrell blueprint, right? Let's take a look. Enterprise Blueprint, 21000 which is, by the way, the same price as it was last time. Take a look at the Burrell, 8800 Folks, they are different, okay, because they're worth different amounts of money. Even though they're both epics, I think it's no secret that Giorgio is a crazy good officer. Thank you, by the way, Lube, and appreciate you guys being on um, our YouTube chat. Thank you for being in Discord as well uh, and hanging out with us. I just got the message from Lube that we did, in fact, receive a maintenance chest. Let's take a look here and see what we got. Okay. Um, Snake Eyes, are you still... You're still having problems. I'm sorry, buddy. It is what it is. Uh, maintenance chest. Let's see what's inside here. This was the maintenance chest provided for today... And, and by the way, this wasn't even a maintenance chest because maintenance came back up on time, okay? Maintenance came back up on time. What this was was for the events at noon that didn't pop, noon Eastern time, that didn't pop on time, all right? So they were a couple hours late. I think, what did we say, Wham? It ended up being, it was less than three hours, right? I don't remember. Right at three hours, okay? Well, hey, <laughs> okay. I'll take 70 million steel and I'll take 75 uncommon for three hours. You know, I was I was in the game doing other things. So thank you for the gift. Dang on. My God. Scopely doing all right today. You listen, I'm not trying to be super positive, especially especially not after I posted it. You lost your bet at, at three hours. I don't, I don't know. But nonetheless, folks, here, here's the thing. I'm not coming on. I'm not praising Scopely. But I have had all day to look at this. And there are some praiseworthy items here. Now, you want one negative? I'll give you a negative. Okay? <laughs> if you want one negative, I'll give it to you. Oh, I can't show it to you yet. Ladies and gentlemen, um, let's take a quick look at the events. And then we're going to go build the sarcophagus. Okay? So we took a look at the events. I want to take a very... I got you. I do want to take a quick look at the event store, uh, or not the event store, but the news calendar. Uh, we're not going to read through the whole thing, but guys, right here, special monthly event, Discovery Part 4, Terran Invasion. This is your calendar. Everything is here. Everything that we're going to be doing all month long, okay? All month long. Yeah, my, my chest was 39, guys. My chest was 39, so some of you guys are getting even better packages than, than I got as far as a maintenance chest. And good. That, those look like great chests. I mean, uh, let's see, Spock, let's see, Spock, you're what, a level 43, 44, 45? Uh, Padawan, yours was a level 40, you got 150 million steel, uh, 30 of the G3 uncommon, and 80 G4 uncommon. I mean, th these were good. These were good. All right, so inside your news center, you've got all of the different events. You've got, hey, Trek the Halls is coming back. Okay, so I'm excited about that. Um, as a matter of fact, Trek the Halls is coming back for 10 through 17. You'll notice here for 18 plus, it's all about family uh, that we've got here. Okay, so there's a couple of different uh, holiday events that are going on. Let it explode. Let it explode. Let it explode is coming up. Guys, there was one thing in here that I wanted to draw your attention to, which I think is going to be awesome. Folks, here is Scopely's latest iteration at an attempt at a global-wide PvP event. Now, We've been doing PvP, right? We've been doing PvP in territories, and it has been fun. It has been laggy, but for the most part, people, I think, are somewhat enjoying this if you're in alliances that are actively participating. And uh, as we mentioned on the podcast earlier this morning, there are some people that don't like it. I literally got a message from a player who said he was in a 50-something ranked alliance with two actives, and he was really upset that he did not have a way to get particles. Two actives. Two actives. Buddy, I, I'm sorry. If, if you are upset about an alliance event that you cannot play in because you have two actives, my friend, you need to look at the writing on the wall since December of 19. You need to look at Crucible, Apex. Uh, you need to look at Faction Hunt. You need to look at anything any alliance event in this game 
and you need to wake up. Okay, just, just wake up. Okay, anyway, guys, take a look at this. A PvP event, the newest iteration. War without, war within. Level 10 plus, all right, happening on three different days. Our first day happening tomorrow, and I'm pretty pumped about it, all right? Um, damage player ships and win PvP combat in specified systems, okay? In specified systems. Spend Tritanium on ships, Hey, guys, this is a PvP event where we are getting points for damaging, we're getting points for winning, and we're getting points for losing by repairing our ships. In order to promote fair competition, players will only earn points from PvP battles in designated level segmented systems. Guys, look at these PvP brackets and how tight they are all the way down here. And sorry, level 40 plus, the only reason yours is so wide is because there's just none of you. Okay, there's still very few of you per server. Guys, look at these. I mean, super tight brackets. This, <laughs> Commander Taylor says, this is not great for everybody. What's your ops level, man? I thought you were with me at 39. You might be a little bit higher uh, if you're in the 40s. Then, yeah, that could be a little bit of a struggle. But, guys, this is a good one. The, if, not only is everybody going to be in their own systems, minding their own business, but the bracketing is tight. And... The rewards are probably going to be decent. This is a solo leaderboard, by the way, so there's going to be rankings. And the brackets are tight. If you guys remember Vulcan Hello and the Anomalous Phenomena from Arcs 2 and 3, those were solo leaderboards with really tight brackets. So, guys, I think you're going to be okay. All right? I think you're going to be kind of fun with this. This is going to be good. Scopely was really prompt about addressing any launch issues, says Infinite Blue. I'll give him credit for that. Communication was good today, said Lou. Uh, I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, Vita says I'm disappointed because I'm actually seeing more crashes, and, and that has always been an issue uh, for you, man. I, I get it. Uh, Joe says, honestly, the arc's been good. 300 for a ship was still a shock, but like you said, DJ, we're normally up in arms when the dust settled. It started to look better. Folks, that is what I'm here to tell you. The dust is settling, and this is good, and I may, listen, Scopely, my bad, I may have jumped on a shock and awe uh, campaign this morning because I, too, was shocked and awed <laughs> that it was going to cost $300 for that ship. But it looks better i mean everything about this is looking better the um oh great my game client just froze <laughs> i mean but the the events are looking good yeah i'm totally frozen up here let me uh yay gone done finito let me restart my client all right vita see i was just talking about how my game didn't crash today and boom there we go all right <laughs> there you go uh so anyway just you know the the arc is looking good. Well, <laughs> this is my first crash I've had in like an hour and a half, two hours. But I still have had them, admittedly, okay? I have had them. Hey, guys, Snake Eyes is asking me to remind you guys, especially those of you on YouTube, that we've introduced a new feature on YouTube if you wish to support our YouTube channel. Of course, while you're here, please do subscribe, okay? Make sure that you uh, subscribe so you can uh, follow all of our content. We did a great video this morning. Uh, and even though there was a few minutes of, you know, $300, there was still great mechanics in that. The particles, the generators, and we're going to talk about those coming up a little bit. However, here, even in the live stream, you can choose to purchase Super Chat and Super Stickers to use in our YouTube chat. Uh, so if you guys would be interested in doing that, that'd be fun. I hear that they look cool. I've never actually seen one. So if you guys want to buy a Super Chat, we'll see what it looks like. But it's supposed to make it, you know, color and your chat looks cool and blah, blah, blah. All right, so we talked about the events. We're good there. Let's very quickly talk about these particles. I've had a lot of people ask about the particles today. Guys, uh, ironically, the particles are not in the territory refinery. That's where we would expect them to be, right, in the territory refinery. Um, but they're not, okay? I'm going to show you where they are. Come down here to your alliance button, and then come over to the territory button, and then come over here to the store button, 
And there you go. Now you see your stuff in here. And it's weird, okay? I'm not sure why it's here. What are we, you know... Oh, ISO emulsion. Yeah, what a terrible conversion. I, I, don't do that. Don't use your ISO emulsion on this. This is like using Stella particles for uncommon. This is worse because it's resources. Okay, yeah, don't, don't do that. Not until you're done with the research. But anyway, here are your particles, and you can see the Maya lines. We've got phantom particles, quantum particles, and Surax particles, but you'll notice regular, regular, advanced. Folks, I want to be really super clear with you about something. Do not... Do not... Hey, Stevens Aaron, thank you for the super chat. Cool, man, cool. Do not activate duplicate services, folks. They won't do anything for you, okay? <laughs> they won't do anything for you. So let's take a look here. This is a good example. This is a Tier 3 system, and we saw this all throughout Arc 3, okay? Hull Enhancer. This was 50% base hull to all ships, right? That's what we saw. Holy cow, Stevens Aaron, thank you for your super chat. You the man. All right. Hull Enhancer, 50% base hull health to all ships. Then you come over to the advanced service, and it was another 50%. Now, of course, it's more expensive, right? But that was giving you 100% to base hull health. Okay? So 100% to base hull health. Um, that is two different services, Hull Enhancer and Advanced Hull Enhancer. Now, you'll look here. I've got a Metreon Particle Generator, which, shout out for Metreon Particles. All right, super excited about that, uh, that we can now start working on Metreon Particles. But let's look at some of the other territories. That was Barasa. Let's take a look at Baran. Okay, Baran, I've got our core service here, Officer Defense Enhancer, Advanced Surax Generator, and an improved Tier 3 isogen refinery, which we have not turned on yet. All right? And I'm going to tell you why here in just a couple of minutes. All right, but advanced Serax generator. Now, I'm going to come back over here and go to comps and see what else we've got over here. Five services available here. Accuracy, sarcophagus materials forged. This is what's going to allow me to work on the ship of the dead. Improved isogen, one- and two-star refinery, and the quantum particle generator. Uh, are we going to end up having any overlaps? I hope so. All right, quantum. Uh-oh. Did we actually do it? Did we actually make the same mistake that I was going to talk about, Bull? Saldetti has improved Tier 1 and Tier 2 Isogen. And I'll be daggone, we did it. Comps has the same thing. All right, folks, I made the same mistake with my own alliance. Do not pay for these services more than once. Okay? Don't do it because it's not going to do anything. All right, once you pay for it one time, that's it. With one exception, right, Wham? There was one small benefit. If, <laughs> and I cannot imagine that the math works out on this, all right? But if, for whatever reason, you thought that you could spend 200,000 Tier 1 refined isogen and then get everybody in your alliance to do a sudden refine, right? Because then that what we decided if you activated this a second time, it would refresh your cooldown. Is that correct? I might have lost Wham. Is Wham still with us? Okay, yeah, Gregor, Gregor's here. So we, were, we tinkered with this earlier. So, folks, here's the thing. If you get a second refinery. And Curricane, you could actually get a third refinery, technically. Okay? Because if you activate... If you don't have any activations and you do your first refine, okay, great. Then you activate the first one and you get a second refinery. All right. And then if you do a third one, well, unfortunately, we didn't coordinate very well because it looks like we did it. Okay. And folks, let me be the lesson. Okay. Let me be the lesson. You just wasted 200,000 tier one refined isogen. Okay, do not activate the service. It is duplicate. It won't give you anything. Same thing for the particles, folks. Same thing for the particles. Don't do it, okay, because you're not getting anything. You're paying seven days, and you're not getting anything out of it. All right, so there's our phantom particle. We did the Tier 1 and Tier 2 isogen again, materials, uh, sarcophagus. Did we, did we duplicate that one too? We sure did. <laughs> again, let us, be a, let us be the lesson for the galaxy. You guys do not duplicate your services, okay? And then down here we had the Surax protected cargo. Uh, does not look like we've activated Tier 3 refinery. We haven't activated cargo either. Okay, so the summation here is if you have all three particles, obviously try to get the all three particles activated. Uh, if you can get <coughs> if you can get an advanced 
generator to, to activate, then that would give you double, okay? For example, you see we've got... Um, now, what have we done here? Did we do advanced Surax twice? Man, we did. <laughs> this, was, this was all in testing today before we had a chance to actually go through this, all right? Um, nonetheless, if you activate two different advances, you're not getting the benefit, okay? So long story short, territories, store. This is where you see your particles, and some of you guys are actually going to have multiple opportunities. You can see here between our combination of services, I'm only getting 100 of the particles, Phantom Quantum Surax each day, and 50 of the Metreon particles, but some of you guys are going to have duplicates because you've got the regular generator, and then you've also got the advanced generator, okay? So uh, very, very good there. Okay, now, um, Curricam says, but why wouldn't you start a second or a third? Instead of 100, you can get 200 or 300 per refine cycle, but that's not how it works, buddy. Okay, you can only get, um, you can only get the particle generator one time, and then you can only get the advanced particle generator one time. So the most you can get is 200, and that's why I was saying, if you come over here, it's different. I'm not saying don't activate advanced Surax generator, and then let's pretend I had another one down here that was just Surax generator. You see what I'm saying? I would activate both of those. I would activate one regular and one advanced. That would get me the 200 particles instead of 100. But to activate two regulars, it's not going to get you duplicate particles. Okay? It's not going to get you to. Uh, Joe says, hey, with the new description about participating in TakeOver, will PvP still be possible without joining the TakeOver? Yes, it's been confirmed. And if I'm not mistaken, and Ripper is gone, let me find. I've got a screenshot that I'll send you guys in the graphics room if I can find it. What it is, folks, it's just, it's, okay, I can't, I, I can't see it at the moment. But you know what it looks like when you start an armada? and you cancel the warp, okay? And you get that little flag at the bottom of your screen that says, you know, you've got an armada and you're not in, okay? That's what it is. It just literally says, hey, you've got a territory going on and, you know, click here to join, okay? So this is not, um, this is not, you know, anything that's going to affect the gameplay. The gameplay is going to be the same as it's always been. It's just a notifier that you've got a takeover going on and you need to get somewhere, okay? Okay. Infinite says they should have prevented you from buying duplicate services for the sake of players. I don't necessarily disagree with that, but at the same time, I do. What if I lost one of these territories? You see what I'm saying? Um, I guess, in a manner of speaking, that would be one advantage to having duplicates. If I lost a territory, I'd still have the other service going. So anyway, a little bit weird there, but you know there are some benefits and some reasons why you wouldn't want to. Not to mention that, but you may end up having to abandon something somewhere to rejoin your territory. Okay. Hey, thank you, Snake Eyes. That's exactly what I was looking for, folks. Take a look in the Talking Trek. You know what? Here, hang on a second. Let me see if I can actually uh, pull this up for you guys, and I will uh, put it in the YouTube stream. I think I can do that very quickly. Um, browser. There we go. Take a look. There it is, folks. Okay, that is the banner that they're talking about. Your alliance has not joined this takeover, and I presume that's because you've got ships in that system. Okay, so that's what's actually going on there. That's all that was. All right, don't get too excited, but that's what it was. Okay, so uh, there you go. Now, moving forward, let's go back over here into the game. And I'll pull your chat back up so that I can see what you guys are chit-chatting about and I'll answer your questions. Um, doesn't fix the lags or junk gameplay for territory capture. You know, I guess it... I mean, I was never an advocate for blocking player access. I ain't gonna lie. I really... I wasn't... I wasn't the... Uh, you know, that wasn't something I wanted to do. I'd just rather them fix it technically. I'd rather them get, you know, get on the ball and get it done. Now, uh, let's see. We talked about the particles talked about the currency, talked about the events. I guess, folks, it's time to actually build the sarcophagus. Um, before I do, are there any other questions, uh, anything about packs? Because there was, there was something that I wanted to show up here. I don't remember what it was. Let's see, there's sarcophagus unlock, slush fund. Yeah, but I'm not going to get that until I build it. So I want to make sure that there wasn't anything that I wanted to show here. So we're doing this live. Hey, thank you, Sotak. Appreciate your super chat. Thank you for the stream on your drive home. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Um, 
can we talk about the fact that that account had two unused docs? Um, let me. What are you talking about? You're talking about the uh, the screenshot that I just showed. Oh yeah. Well, this was probably. So let me let me bring this back. This was probably from a test server. Okay, just uh, FYI. There it is on YouTube stream. Yeah, two unused docs. Because is there a way? Once you surely there's a way, right? Can you actually remove a ship from dock? I think you can. Can't you? I'm gonna try it. Uh, here, let's go back to gameplay. I'm gonna try. I'm pretty sure you can. Let's see. Um, swamp ship. If I go to build, you know, just for kiggles, I'm gonna build an Orion Corvette because what it should do. I'll build the fortunate. What it should do is free up the ship slot and then put the ship building in my dock. Oh, nope, it sure didn't. <laughs> okay, well, that was a failed experiment. How do you remove a ship from dock? Can you actually do that? Scrap until you only have two ships, I guess. Possibly. You can't swap to no ships. What's down here at the far end? Yeah, nothing I can do there. That's interesting. I've never tried to actually remove a ship from dock. Anyway. Yeah. Yep, there you go. So, and, and Snake Eyes has got the answer right there because we've been doing a lot of work with uh, the Scopely team on the test server. So, uh, shout out to them. And they've worked really hard today. You know, I, I, listen, I understand. You guys don't understand sometimes the politics of, of Scopely because there's people that work on the front lines and then there's the account executives that determine the pricing and the money and, and the people that we get to work with, Snake Eyes and I, and the other content creators and the other moderators. Those people are good people. They work hard. They've been working really hard today <laughs> since 4 o'clock this morning. So uh, they've, uh, they've, they've, been, they've been good. So shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for your work today. And thanks for helping us solve the conundrum that was the sarcophagus. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and build this puppy, okay? Um, let me find it here. We'll just go into the battleships. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the sarcophagus, all right? Uh, now, I do want to, in the YouTube video, we talked about a couple of different uh, statistical levels, all right? For me, all right, I am an Ops 39. I am pretty well researched, okay? I've got a pretty good amount of research, but you can see, this ship coming right out of dock for me over 800,000 in power this ship is going to have uh some decent abilities now you take a look here just common three star common three star crystal and ore a couple of trite a uh, couple of dilithium there okay so and a six day build timer based on my research before we build it let's take a look this is based on my research folks okay and this is a relatively low number i admit i get it it's a low number 3960 dpr that is relatively low but then when you take a look at what the ship is going to be used for okay and and that's why i want to tinker with it a little bit tonight i i think like let's for example let's take a look um i want to swap let's just take a look at the vidar the vidar is close it's one million all right dpr is one hundred and ninety three thousand. I think the sarcophagus is going to stink in normal PvP. Somebody showed a screenshot a little bit ago that they already had it to four and a half million power. Well, what is your what's your DPR? Because this ship may last forever, but it's like spitballs at Fort Knox. Okay? It's not going to actually do any damage. Alright? Because it's got no it's not throwing any damage. All right. So let's uh, we look at DPR for the Vidar, 193,000. Come back over here to the uh, sarcophagus. I'm going to call it the coffin because I keep, you know, that's what I'm going to call it. It's the coffin. And I come back over here to the DPR at only 3,900. Folks, it's terrible. That means this is not going to do anything in real PvP. But you take that number, 3,960, which, by the way, you're not going to take 3,960 and multiply it by 860. Uh, because I do have some research already factored in here. This, by the way, is being added in as research. Okay, it's being added in as research. So when you talk about adding 15%, you know, 0.15, or 100% with a prime and adding one, okay, you are multiplying this one by 860. 
All right, that's how much of an increase it's getting by using a capture node. But again, without without using anything during a takeover, this is going to be absolutely terrible. Anyway, let's go ahead and build this thing, okay? <clears throat> there we go. It is underway. We'll speed this thing up here. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, folks, as you guys got to see earlier, here it is coming out of dock. And for the purposes of, of this here tonight, folks, I am only taking it to Tier 2. Why am I only going to take it to Tier 2? There's a couple of reasons for that. One, unless you are Ops 34 or higher, Tier 2 is your limit. Okay? So if you are Ops 33 or down, then Ops uh, or, or Tier 2, Level 10, is your limit okay so i will not be going over that until we've had a chance to test this ship in combat tomorrow during a takeover okay so i'm going to come back over here uh let's just put it in this dock right here let me find it. there it is there is the sarcophagus okay we're going to assign the ship uh i can immediately take it up to about one million in power just because of my officers let's take a look at the stat bonuses oh god oh that's terrible because i got nothing going on down here you can see it is a normal ship it's going to go up to the 300 percent. it looks like of course these have never been modified so it could be 350 percent. we have no idea uh, somebody else probably knows, okay? I, I don't because, you know, here we are. But um, this would presumably get up to e at least 300% and possibly 350%, okay? I uh, just don't know yet. So now, um, gosh, you know, this is terrible. Hang on. Uh, let me, I'm going to switch it to this dock so I don't have to change crews around because I don't want to have to change a bunch of stuff and not have any under deck. Okay, so there we go. Um, and we take a look here. So, yes, it does look like it maxes at 300%. There you go. Uh, Chlorat says it should be 350. Nope, looks like it's 300, folks. The 12,000 is where it maxes out. I've got defense of almost 14,000, and it's hitting 300%. All right, so uh, there you go. 300% is the maximum for this. So now I want to take this thing out. Uh, I wonder if anybody is responding to my call here on my galaxy chat because i would like to uh to fight somebody who's got you know something small like i'm thinking like a kumari should we try a kumari first i'd like to try uh anyone with a kumari that's willing to test all right in the meantime let's go hit a hostile all right. Oh, there's no hostels in these systems. All right, I'll have to fly it out. <coughs> Dude, your Stella can kill Enterprises, but yeah, I'm I'm good with it. Yeah, bring it on. Uh, Wham, I am in Barasa. Cool. Holy God, look how big that thing is. Good night. Hey, Trickle, what's up? Uh, look at that size of that ship. You know what? Just for a point of comparison, let's pull out the auger. Look at that, folks. Vidar. Discovery. And I'm going to swap back over to the Enterprise. Look at the scale and size of that ship. Good night. Oh, God, Chloroth. Thank you, Clora says, don't let it die at Tier 1. Thank you. Oh, my God, I completely forgot about that. Oh, my God, look how slow it is, too. All right, hey, uh, one thing that I want to show, once you build this ship, by the way, all right, once you build the ship, you need, you absolutely need to come into your store, and now there's your Bacchanite, okay? Now there's your Bacchanite that shows up, and by the way, there it is. 4,000, one-star refined isogen for 20,000 Bacchanite. Now... You know what? I'm going to test this for science, okay? I'm going to refine the Bacchanite, and then I'm going to tier the ship to tier two, and I'm going to hope that my Bacchanite resets. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm going to come back in here. You guys are watching it here. You'll see what happens. Let's go to the upgrade, and here we go. We're going to take it. Looks, oh my gosh, already taking Uncommon at tier two. 
gag me with a fork. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and move this thing up a little bit. Uncommon ore and uncommon crystal already. Super small amounts, obviously, but definitely already taking it, which is terrible. All right, now, if you guys watch my power. What's that? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, wait, what What are you talking about? The fact that we've got an armada, that we love armada. Scopely thinks we love armadas so much that they're actually giving us a flying armada that we can pilot around. I thought that was interesting. This ship, by the way, guys, this ship has been in the game for three months. If you look in the official Discord right now, it has been the server's avatar, like the server banner, for the last three months. No lie. It's been here. It's been here the whole time. All right. Um, now, the reason I'm going to tear it up, we talked about this in the video. We talked about the repair cost. All right, folks, do not... Do not fly this thing at Tier 1. Please do not fly this thing at Tier 1. You will be broke, and you'll tie up a ship slot. Snake Eyes, what are you talking about? What did we talk about this morning that I'm forgetting? Because I am scattered. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did forget about that. Um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. All right, so there we go. We're Tier 2. Now, I do want to show you this real quick. All right, guys, this is the lock that you're going to get to, and I think, yep, here it is. It's on the warp engine. Folks, here it is, the Uncommon Black Fleet Memorial. Now, if you are Ops 34 or higher, you can buy this, okay? Uh, and when I say buy it, I just mean redeem for it, okay? Go back to the same place we were, Alliance, oops, not Armadas, Territory, and the store. Over here, you've got the Black Fleet Memorial. Now, I already redeemed mine today. And by the way, fun fact, if you're Ops 37 or higher, then it actually only cost me one set of ISO Emulsion, and I got both memorials, the Uncommon and the Rare. If somebody is Ops 41 or higher, I'm kind of curious, did you guys actually only pay one time and get all three memorials? Because that that's kind of what I was expecting to see after I got the second one. It was, it was kind of super cool uh, that I didn't have to pay for that. So that was, that was just kind of nice. Um, <laughs> Adam says, I hope to God I didn't spend money I, or you didn't spend money to get that heap. No, I didn't. I'm, I'm supposed to be teaching you guys. And, and in all fairness, uh, the ship is much less, uh, much less discouraging than it was earlier this morning. And, uh, and so hopefully uh, you guys can watch this back a little bit later and, and feel better about it. But uh, we are now at Tier 2. We're at Tier 2, and our repair cost should be significantly lower. So let's bring this out and, and see what happens. Here's Wham's Stella, all right? And it's going to rock my world, I know. Look how slow. Good God, that's what 55 Impulse looks like, guys. Goodness gracious, look at that. All right, uh, first thing I want to do, let's take a look. His Stella is 800,000, but that's a beast of a Stella. You know what? Let's do a scan here. Let's just take a look. All right. Uh, his DPR, 120,000, folks, and that's on a Kumari. Oh, my God, he's going to slaughter me. This is going to be a slaughter fest, okay? Uh, let's take a look at the Stella. The Stella... 150,000. Uh, yeah, that's what I was just looking at a second ago. 120, yeah, 120,000 DPR. It's going to just absolutely plumb wear me out. Okay. Uh, there's Snake Eyes bringing over his Kumari. Let's see. Uh, his is even more than yours, Wham. Um, yeah, 126 DPR. Looky there. Whoop, whoop. 6,911 DPR. That's because I've got a little bit of attack bonus going on there, okay? So uh, Joe says, this thing is getting nowhere near a capture node in an attack before it gets smashed. You know, that that's possible. Here, I, first thing I want to do, I want to go ahead and, and just see. Let's see. Here's a 600,000. <laughs> Kumari, good night. Look how slow it is. All right, it is a battleship, so there's our animation. Snake Eye is going to rock my world. He sure did, in a Kumari. He smoked me. Let's take a look at the battle log. And I bet it's not even close. <laughs> look at that. Not even close, ladies and gentlemen. 
just absolutely crushed my soul. Uh, but look at that. Good night in heaven. Went 34 rounds. You know why it went 34 rounds? It's because I'm not dealing any damage. And, folks, here's, here's why it went so long. Because this ship does have hull for days. Okay? This ship has hull for days. Take a look here. Hull health at Tier 2. By the way, Level 1. We haven't even leveled this thing. Okay? Uh, is already 1 million. Okay? This ship has hull for days. It has no shield, but it's got hull for days. That's why this battle went so long. All right? Not because I was throwing any kind of damage. He's not throwing a whole lot of damage either. You know, 30,000. All right? 35,000. There's 80,000, obviously, on a kinetic. And by the way, you'll look, my shield's already gone. All right? Already gone. Uh, come back in here, shield's gone. It's just going straight to hull. Straight to hull, folks. Okay? And that's what we put in the video. Mitigation is going to matter something ridiculous with this ship. You must find a way to mitigate your opponent's shots to make this number as huge as possible and this number as small as possible. Because take a look here. In round one, I lost my shields. Wait a second. Folks. My shields were never there. You know what? Ripper and I theorized about this. Ripper and I theorized about this. This ship at its core has no shield, but research was adding a little bit, so we wondered if by chance the shields wouldn't actually show up. Look, Kumari never threw a shot, and I had no shields. Folks, this ship has no shields. Kirk and Spock, non-functional. Non-functional. All right? It's not even going to bring them back. I mean, even, even the shield that I thought I was supposed to have. Even this 20, what is it, 20, 36,000 that I thought I was supposed to have? Nothing. It's not here. First shot from Snake Eyes. Okay, unless he burned it off. I guess, is that possible? Do you burn the shields off? Um, but right here, his first shot fired at me. No shield damage. It went straight to hull. Joe says, so could a Sally one-shot it? Hmm. A Sally with Gorkon Curla... Gorkon Kurla, yeah. With a big first round crit, probably, yeah. Absolutely. All right, let's try to repair this big old lunk and see if my theory is correct. Yes, it sure is. 7,100 and 53 refined Bacchanite, and I'm glad we didn't destroy it when it was going to take 25,000. All right, so 7,100, we're going to repair. By the way, at tier two, already a two and a half hour repair. Folks, if you do not have enough Bagonite to repair this ship, it will sit in your dock, damaged, tying up a dock slot, tying up your officers until you can repair this ship. Which means I just refined. All right, I just refined. If I run out of Bagonite, I'm waiting 21 hours and 51 minutes for my next cooldown. Folks, hear me when I say... Do not run out of Bacchanite. Be aware of your inventory because not only are you tying up the ship slot, you're tying up your officers. Okay? Holy cow. That would be a bad, bad day in the land of your Star Trek Fleet Command gameplay. Now, I did want to run this interesting little experiment to demonstrate, <laughs> to demonstrate how slow this ship is. I, I can't even. I can't even do this. All right, so... From my base, 31 seconds on the Discovery, 1 minute and 12 seconds for the Ship of Death, or the Ship of the Dead. Uh, what I'm going to show you here in just a second, and Ripper actually did this earlier, this was wildly hilarious. We are going to demonstrate to you the cost of impulsing this across the system. All right, so if this ship came in, uh, if this ship came in, you know what? Powerful one says, but lat fixes all. Good question. I don't know if you're going to be able to refine lat for back night. Haven't tried. I hope you're right. At least then you'd have an emergency fix. But I don't know. I don't know if latinum is going to work or not. All right. Don't don't hit me anymore. Wham. <laughs> Good God. Look how look how slow it is compared to even the auger, folks. I mean, that thing is just... You're right. That thing is never going to survive trying to get to a node. Look how slow that thing is. 
All right. Uh, Fusion says, did I get an upgrade pack now that I have bought it? No, I haven't, because I am going to actually make fun of it. Uh, <laughs> give me a minute. The first thing I want to do is, uh, from entering a system, we want to get it. Uh, we want to... <laughs> that's ridiculous. Oh, not even your auger, so it's even slower. Um, listen, let's go all the way across the system. All the way across. Two minutes and 20 seconds to impulse across the system. You want me to blow it up a couple times and show you? I don't care to. I, honest to God, don't care. That's why we have them, is to test this and to show you guys. So, yeah, let's do it. That's fine. Uh, here. Somebody, here. Uh, Snake Eyes, I want to try and kill your discovery. Let's see if I can even kill that. All right. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I'm going to try and kill this discovery. Your Vidar is going to toast me, I know for sure. But the, the discovery is a little different. We've always talked about it being weak sauce, right? So let's take a look here. 41K DPR. It's still going to, I bet you, who wants to bet me a taco in the next 38 seconds before my ship gets there? I bet I die right here. Yes, Nazim, we have confirmed that, uh, that uh, Kirk Spock will not work because there's no shields. I'll show you again here in a second. And the discovery. Ooh, gotcha, son. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, son. All right. Uh, here, William, don't. Uh, here. I'm going to kill this thing again. <clears throat> Oh, you guys didn't get a chance to see it. Okay. Um, so, Mr. Fusion, here's the thing. I couldn't, I couldn't demonstrate that for you tonight. He wants to say, he says, I'm curious if a pack, uh, oh, you mean if a pack shows up? Yes, yes, a pack does show up, Mr. Fusion, but I don't know if it scales, okay, with the tier. We're going to look at it here in a second. Now, folks, uh, here's what I want to... Um, for those of you who missed the last couple of minutes, let's take a look at this battle log, okay? Now... Uh, here's what's important to note. In the ship statistics, all right, you are showing uh, 36,000 shield health. This number may be deceptive, all right? The reason it's showing that number is because early, early on in your combat tree, see, all of your researches are percentage multipliers, except for one, and it's very early in the combat tree, and it is um, shield modulation. Shield health is increased for all ships by 4,000. That modifies the base, okay? That modifies the base, and therefore all the other research that I get after that is multiplied by this 4,000, which is why, and this could be a bug, I don't know, and I don't know if it's worth worrying about, but that's why the ship is showing... That's why, uh, let's see, sorry, wrong screen. That's why the ship is showing 36,000 points of shield health. However, take a look at the battle log, okay? In the battle log, his first shot, okay? There's no, there's no stripping. There's no shield stripper here, okay? His first shot deals no shield damage. It is mitigated and goes straight to hull. So even though it's showing shield health, just like we surmised, just like we expected in the video, this ship has no shield health. If you look over here, there's not even any red, okay? So the, the display is a small display bug. There is no ship uh, or no shields on this ship. Um, God, I can't even talk. There is no shields on this ship, all right? Shield deflection was zero, Edward, because there are no shields by nature, but shield deflection doesn't actually have anything to do with shield. That's a mitigation factor, okay? But you'll notice here, there were no shields to be red. No shields came down. And shield stripper right here. Oh, well, he did have a shield stripper on there. So let's go back to, the, let's go back to this one where there was no shield stripper of any kind. And I did. Okay, so the shield stripper is the one that took it out. So I wonder. No, look. Nope. I know what 
I know what the research says, but this ship, by its nature, has no shield. And look here, the very first shot. And by the way, there's nothing about shield stripping here, okay? Inflict burning when defending on a node. That didn't happen. 40% armor's piercing when defending from a player. Okay, that's fine, but that doesn't do anything with shield health points. And he's a summoning efficiency. So, guys, maybe this is a small bug that we have found with this ship is that even though it displays shield, this ship was never designed to have shield, and therefore in battle it will not give you shield, which means Kirk Spock is absolutely pointless here. On the very first shot Snake Eyes dealt, zero shield damage, all right, because it all went to health, all right? So that is, uh, that, that's it. There is no shields on this ship. This is our first player-driven swarm ship, okay? Now, let's repair this thing. Uh, let's repair this thing because I want to show you guys the packets, okay? Uh, by the way, I wonder where I can see my inventory of Bacchanite. I can't see it here. That's kind of a pain. I'd like to be able to see it here. But uh, yeah, it probably would be, I guess. There's Duranium. Bacchanite, 12.8 thousand. So I can only repair one more time. All right. Um. There you go. Wham, gonna come. Oh. oh, look here. I don't even have to. I don't have to, guys. Latinum will not convert to Bacchanite. You guys take a look at it right here. I cannot click the button. You cannot lube. You can't repair with Latinum because it is grayed out. I can only spend the Bacchanite. Holy. You can't see it because of the logo. Crap. Hang on. I'll fix it. All right, I'll fix it. Uh, DJ Logan here. I'll just hide it for a second. There, take a look. Folks, you cannot use Latinum. Okay? This is huge. This means that this ship would literally... Oh, so I was getting ready. Hoo, hoo, hoo. You guys almost got me into it. I was getting ready to tie up a ship dock for 22 hours. You heathens. All right, folks, look at it. Okay? You cannot repair with lat. Okay? Holy crap. A shield before I repair. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, don't leave, don't leave it in base. Don't leave it in base. Now, Mr. Gardner says, put it in a capture node. I can't do that right now because there's not an active takeover. So tomorrow at noon, we're going to try this again. All right. Hopefully, I can get somebody tomorrow at noon, and and hopefully somebody may be watching. Here's my expectation. Tomorrow at noon is the... Um, well, yeah, I could never repair it. Tomorrow, the Adia territory comes up or first. It's at noon. So hopefully somebody from JAG is watching the stream right now. I would like to do some testing during this takeover. Obviously, I don't expect it to be contested, but I would like to come in... Without And obviously I want to set it up ahead of time because I'm not going to be able to repair this ship a bunch so you can't kill me every single time I fly in. Um, as a matter of fact, I've got enough Bacchanite right now to only repair it. Oh, crap. I'm not even going to have enough Bacchanite to repair it one time tomorrow at noon. Let me see if I can get uh, Panic to send me some Bacchanite. But if somebody from JAG is watching, what I'd like to do is to come in tomorrow and do some testing. Okay, so please... Uh, I'll, I'll reach out to you later this evening because I just spent uh, another 7000 and I won't be able to... Yeah, I'm down to 5600 So here's what I'm going to do right now just because I ain't taking no chances at tying up that ship slot. There. Whew! That... David, I'm telling you, you're going to have to be super aware, okay? Steven Tarrant says, we could test it if it works outside of territory capture. I think we just did, okay? I was in a territory. There was no capture going on. I mean, that's where we were. I was in my home system right here, all right? And obviously, it ain't working, okay? So the ship bonus is only supposed to work during a takeover. Well, that's true. That's true, but I'm I'm still not doing. I can't do it tonight. All right, um, I'll have to see if I can get Scopely to send me a little bit more back tonight, and we'll do a test. Now, uh, I do want to show you this um, here. Okay, I don't see it now. Ripper had a different pack. Gregor. That yeah, 
Yep, yep. Any mine also counts. But again, I should I should have thought of that. I didn't think I could have thrown it on a node, but we didn't. Um, so, Gregor, I'm not seeing the pack that I wanted to make fun of. I still see the unlock pack, which is interesting since I've built the ship. <laughs> Someone, he won't answer. He's not going to come in. It's really late. I mean, gosh, it is 2 o'clock in the morning for him. So, so guys, this sucks. What I wanted to make fun of, and I was, if I was going to if I was gonna give Scopely down the road today, it's that the sarcophagus upgrade pack was super-duper lame. And you'll see it once you actually build the ship uh, if, you, if you're going to buy it early. Um, I can only assume that I am not getting the pack because I didn't buy this, I guess. Uh, because I didn't, I didn't buy this pack. I guess that's why it didn't unlock for me, because um, I was granted the ship. So anyway, there, there is a um, an upgrade pack, and it's super terrible. Um, I'll see if I can't find some screenshots by tomorrow and show you guys. Okay, but it, it was really shockingly low value. <laughs> so we'll talk about it tomorrow if we can find it. Uh, sorry, yeah, I just know. Uh, I don't know. Here, let me try and reset the client, too. We'll we'll just try that real quick. I don't think that's going to do it, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. Uh, Gavin says, wouldn't the test capture nodes work outside Origin Space? Again, I don't think they're going to because, again, the ship ability specifically reads during a takeover. So I think we're going to run into some problems with that. Uh, and that's why I want to try to coordinate with, uh, with JAG tomorrow. Nope, I don't see it. I don't have it. Sure don't. That stinks. Well, I was going to show you. It was it was ridiculous. <laughs> it was really, really bad, but nonetheless. All right, folks. Uh, there, we've shown you everything that we can show you tonight. Tomorrow we're going to stream some more, and we're actually going to show you um, the actual function of the ship in a territory. Hopefully uh, it goes without incident. Um, powerful one says, tear it up. Here's why I'm not going to tonight. I'll do it tomorrow, all right, because I am at tier two. And the reason I'm going to leave it right here, at least for the moment, is because Tier 2 is the, uh, is the tier limit for anybody Ops 33 and down. So I want to show those players what this ship can do, okay? If I can show you that the ship is decent or usable at Tier 2, Level 10, then you guys will be able to make a better determination as to whether or not you want to try to use this ship, okay? So we're going to, tick, uh, we're going to tinker with it tomorrow. However, tomorrow also during the stream uh once we test it fully at tier two then we are going to take it on up all right probably to about tier five all right because that's going to be the next bracket tier five level 25 is as high as you can take it until your ops 37 and that's where we'll take it tomorrow uh and we'll test it both there and at tier two and we'll see how it goes i don't have a Uh, I don't need that. I, I think I should be okay. I've got ship XP, so I'll I'll do that. Um, yeah, I've got I've got a few hundred thousand, so I'll be good there. Um, tie it up, not tear. No, I'm not tying it up. Yeah, that that would destroy my plan. I mean, my officers, God, Kirk and Khan and Marcus, I'd be so screwed. So, uh, yeah, I need to get the back and I. All right, any other questions? I, w I do want to thank you guys for hanging out in YouTube chat tonight. It's been super, super cool. We're, we're tinkering with this uh, and, uh, and trying to learn about this. So very, very cool. Thank you. Absolutely. I don't disagree, and we, and we will do that tomorrow again. Like I said, once I take it to level uh, tier 2, I'll take it to level 10 with ship XP, and we'll test. Okay, uh, and then we will do the same thing for tier five, level twenty-five, and we'll test, and we'll do all that tomorrow on a live stream. Uh, hopefully, in the middle of the day. I'm actually getting messages right now uh, from uh, the Jag Alliance. So thank you guys for being hospitable. Please, obviously, share you know that that news so I'm not dying as soon as I fly in there. But we will do some live on-screen testing with Jag tomorrow. So thank you guys for being uh, good hosts. And uh, we'll check that out tomorrow. He says, uh, Foe is a level 50. He says, I want to hit it with my Newton 
and see what happens. I'm here to tell you, listen, at Tier 2 or even Tier 5, okay, you're still going to win. But I, I think, you know, at Tier 9, Tier 10, Tier 11, I think that you would actually start to become worried, foe. Uh, you know, your, your Newton is 24 million in power. But by the time this thing gets to Tier 9, Tier 10, I think you should be sweating. I think you should be sweating. And I, and I think, you know, eventually we'll be able to test that. Okay, um, we'll uh, we'll be able to test that eventually, because I'm not taking it that high without you know without Scopely paying for it, because I don't I don't have the I don't got the goods for that tier ten bull crap. Give me a break. Um, Chronic says I'm interested in how these may apply to the ship. Let's talk about these very quickly. Um, Captain maneuver when defending on a capture zone, Hugh Culber increases armor by 50% of the total health on the officers of the ship. So again, you're increasing your mitigation. That's a good thing, all right? But really, what do you guys think is the important? Is increasing your own mitigation or decreasing theirs? And, and maybe a combination of both, but I think the wider disparity you've got in the mitigation, I think you're wanting to lower theirs because I think you want to end the battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want the battle to last forever. You want the battle to end. So I think you want to lower their mitigation. Um, cybernetic Tactician when defending on a capture note. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot. You guys are on YouTube. Let me pull these up. Uh, what officers are these, Chronic? You're going to have to share with me real quick so I can... Oh, Tavi Moses says the upgrade pack was there earlier, Gregor, and now it's gone. Tavi Moses says they... He said they must have pulled it because it was so bad. <laughs> so maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not real sure. All right, let's take a look here real quick at these officers. If you guys can, uh, uh, Chronic, if you can tell me what officers those were, because you, you cropped them so I can't see behind them. <clears throat> were they all three officers for this ship? Let's take a look. Uh, Tilly. Um, cyber. Nope, neither one of those officers were Tilly. Um, none of those officers that you showed me were Emperor George O. All right, well, I like Ash. Ash is good. Hugh Culver. All right, let's take a look. Protective. Um, when defending on a capture node, increasing armor. So, again, increasing your own mitigation. Not a terrible thing, but it is a stat-based officer. And, my God, he's got no stats here, okay? So, you know, I don't like using uncommons for that. But he could end up being a good thing if you've got a solid lower deck. Here's the problem. Until you get this thing to Tier 5, Tier 6, you're not going to have very many lower deck slots. So, 50% of health on the ship is going to be extremely, extremely low until you level the ship up. All right. Um, who was the next one? Cybernetic Tactician. That must have been Arium, you said. Uh, cybernetic Tactician. Uh, defending on a capture node at the start of round, Arium has a 60% chance of burning the opponent for this round. So, <clears throat> okay, fine. If, if you're doing the burning then I think you want to try to find some other burning officers, potentially. I don't know. Tyler uh, would be good. Tyler, right here, at the start of each round, if the ship is burning, he increases the damage by 50% of total attack. Again, this is cumulative. And by the way, today, while we were hanging out, we assumed that, uh, well, we did. We did some testing, and Ash Tyler is a beast, okay? This officer card is actually really, really good. Um, you can uh, maybe ask around some of the people that were here earlier. Maybe we'll do a video on it, Snake Eyes, because it was really, I mean, that was surprising testing, okay? Very surprising testing. Uh, he's really, really good because this is a cumulative officer. But again, it's stat-based. You don't have any stats on this ship because it's such a low tier, you know? So how much total attack can you actually have without having it all on the bridge, you know? So I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, by the way, some of you guys were curious about, you know what? Here's what I know I need to do. Just in case somebody's not watching the stream, I'm going to throw a shield. There we go. Now we'll switch back over to the ship. Because, again, and guys, be aware of this. You're going to have to do stuff like this if you want to protect this ship. Uh, what I wanted to show you was the firing pattern, which we uh, is also available. Good God, look at those base values. That's so bad. Uh, but... These are available in L cars, by the way, okay? Charge time, so I'm going to get a shot. This is a kinetic. I'm getting it in the first round with four shots, all right? But it's not going to fire again until round four, okay? Uh, and by the way, if somebody wants to pull this, you know what? Here, let me do this. I'll see if I can pull. Ah, thank you, Epic Neo, because I was trying to figure out how to do that. 
uh, while I was still in the game. So let me do this. I'm going to switch this over real quick. Um, uh, wrong button. There we go. Okay. There you go. So again, uh, to, here's your firing pattern if you guys are watching on YouTube. Uh, two energies in the first round, four kinetics each in the first round with four total weapons, okay? So you're getting 10 total shots, eight of which are kinetic in the first round. But holy crap, take a look in round two, nothing. In round three, only two energies. In round four, back to the four kinetics, or eight kinetics rather. But you've got rounds where this ship is not going to do anything. Now, here's what could be super interesting. Okay, super, super interesting. By round three, let's go back. Let's go back to one of the new officers that we just got. Okay, Emperor Giorgio. I want to take a quick look at her because this officer, to me, uh, is the most fascinating of any of the new ones that we got because it's the most unique new... Uh, what is happening? The most unique new ability. Uh, let me find her. Giorgio. Check this out. All right. When attacking a player on a capture node, at the start of each round, Emperor Giorgio increases the number of shots of each weapon by 0.17. And by the way, this grows as you promote her up. But if you take a look at 0.17, all right, each round, okay, each round, that means by round three, it's 0.51. Thank you, Epic Neo. My God, you're so good at this, man. You're so good at this. Here, let me pull this up for you guys. You guys can take a look in the YouTube stream. All right. Uh, here we go, switching it over. You guys, take a look at this. By the third round, she's at 51%, okay, 0.51, and it rounds to the nearest number, which means each weapon is going to fire an additional shot in the third round. So let's, uh, let's go back to this one. There we go. Take a look at this one again, folks, okay? Each weapon will fire an extra round by round three so in round three i'm now going to get two shots from the first energy two shots from the second energy and in round four i'm going to get 10 shots five from the first kinetic and five from the second kinetic this is a huge this is a crazy cool officer the first time we've ever seen an officer written like this, and I think it's going to be really cool to watch. Another officer to look out for, you guys got it. You're all talking about Harrison, all right? With that many kinetics, <laughs> golly, with that many kinetics, it looked like it could be kind of cool. All right, I guess it depends. Let's take a look and see how, uh, how much those kinetics are going to fire, you know? And again, I... Without testing it, really, really hard to say because we just looked at the kinetics a second ago. They don't look like they got any power. All right, look here. They don't look like they have any damage at all. But again, multiply that base figure by 860,000%. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Dang on. Big time. Which mud? Oh, <laughs> yeah, Leslie, Mud. Let's take a look. Uh, we'll take a look at Leslie first. Uh, I don't have him. <laughs> All right, minor damage control. As long as the ship's hull health is under 35% of its value at the beginning of combat, he restores... Uh, really? I don't, I don't think I like that, officer. Really? Wham, Leslie? You thinking about somebody else? I don't like that one. Uh, mud. Here it is, 823 ways to die. 20% chance to double the shots of all weapons of the ship for the first round of combat. Holy cow. That's crazy. You're right, Snake Eyes. That would be a really good one, too. Craziness. So, anyway, lots of cool ways. We're, gonna, we're definitely going to have to test. I'm going to have to have Panic send me like 100,000 back at night. I have a feeling this thing's going to die a lot tomorrow. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff we can do on stream. We can really demonstrate this. In the meantime, I do want to come back over to the Discord. Does anybody have any questions as we get ready to wrap up? Epic Neo says, remember, it's plus one to the weapon, not double. Um, are you referring to... Are you referring to mud? Yeah, you're referring to mud. Um, so, yeah, I, I understand. Uh, let's see. Emperor only activates when attacking, not defending, says Rude Dude. 
Uh, I hadn't noticed that, but I mean, that's how I would probably use her. So, Chlorad says, with the massive amount of hull health the coffin has, Leslie could be interesting. Wham, so you've got, you've got a fan in the crowd. I just think it's going to be really hard to get the ship down below 35% once it's at a usable tier. You know, so I'm not really, really sure. It's double per weapon. Okay. Okay. I, for, there was something about one of the... Oh, it was the research, wasn't it? It was the research, Gregor. Remember when we couldn't figure out why the shots weren't doubling and it was the research because it, it was sending... Yeah, it was something to do with the research. I remember that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, eventually it would, I suppose, yes. So, all right, any other questions? Oh, here, uh, Galen says, will the coffin ship work with bonuses if your alliance is not in the territory capture? Galen, yes, and confirmed by Scopely's live ops team that this ship will function even in. So, like, tomorrow, I'm not challenging JAG, but I am going to fly in there because this ship will function. Now, I do know that some people were kind of hoping that it wouldn't, right? They were kind of hoping that this would not be an ability that activates for outsider interference, but it does, okay? So this ship, if it's flown into a system where the timer is active for a takeover, then its ship ability is immediately activated, and if either attacking or defending on a node, then its ship ability will proc, okay? It will fire. So you do not have to be a participant, all right? You just have to, you have to be there. Daytrade says, how much would Pike increase Emperor Giorgio? All right, let's go back. Pike without Moreau, is that what you're saying? So just Pike and Emperor Giorgio, is that what you're saying? Uh, Emperor Giorgio. <clears throat> Holy crap, that's some damn good math. Um, okay, my guess, and let me think about this here for a second. I'm going to guess... 27%, 0.27, all right, which means after only two rounds, you would get the extra shot. And that is something that we can test again tomorrow. You know, that, that's something we can test tomorrow as well. Okay. Uh, the Egger says, if you attack, you won't be on the node, so you won't get the ship bonus. No, that's not correct. I said attacking or defending on a node. So, so now here's the thing. Get this. Get this, and someone talked about this earlier today. If I'm protecting a node, if I'm defending a node, and I've got a ship sitting on the node, I may hide another ship underneath that node to try to intercept this ship when it comes in. Okay? My attack will only get the bonus if I attack the player who is on the capture node, who is actually mining the capture node. So, uh, Clora says it would go up to .306. I don't think that's right. Okay, well, I'll come back to that in a second. But, uh, no, I have to actually... Now, if I accidentally attack the player who was sitting under the node, I'm not going to get my bonus. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's going to suck. So you got to make sure you're targeting properly. All right, now, back to the pike thing. <coughs> uh, pike... You're saying .306. I don't know where you're getting .306. I'm doing... And I'm even using the... the um, mathematical anomaly that is pike, okay? And I'm doing 0 0.17 um, plus crap, I've totally forgot my formula. 0 0.17 uh, times 1 plus the sum of all bonuses, right? So 1 plus the sum of all bonuses is 0 0.6, that's 1.6. I'm going to take 0.17 and times it by 1.6 and that's 0.272. Yeah, Chloroth, you gotta you gotta account for the mathematical anomaly there. <laughs> okay. Kyle says if this thing sneaks past your entire alliance and gets to a node, you deserve whatever happens next. <laughs> uh, Lube says one point two. No, it's not one point two if you're not using Moreau. Okay. It's only um, no, it's not sixty. Crap. It's forty. It's forty. So I was I was wrong. It's not twenty seven percent. Point one seven times one point four 
It's 0.23%. 0.23%, which means you wouldn't get it in the second node. It would still be the third round. So Pike, ineffective. Pike is going to help you grow a little bit faster over later rounds. Yeah, it's going to help you grow a little bit faster over later rounds. 0.23 instead of 0.17, but I don't know if I'd waste an officer slot for that. All right. Um, sorry. I did my math wrong. Um, okay. Doc Holliday says, they forget a lot of people at my level don't spend 300 bucks. You don't have to spend $300. We figured it out, Doc. Now, I guess if you wanted it today, you would spend $300. Okay. Okay. Um, Wham says, since the ship has no shield, let's take a look at Curla as an officer. All right, let's take a look at Curla, Wham, before we get ready to get out of here. Uh, oops, wrong one. There we go. When the shields are depleted during battle, see, I don't think it's going to work. There's no shields to be depleted. Go back to that battle log. Here, let's, uh, let's come back over here. Go back to the battle log. There was no message of shield depletion, all right, because there were no shields to begin with. All right, look here. No message of shield depletion, which means the shields were never depleted, which means Spock would never fire, Eurydice would never fire, Mud 2.0 would never fire. Nothing about shields is going to fire because there are none. All right, so I think Curl is out. I think Curl is out. All right. Any other questions from the official Discord? or from the YouTube chat. By the way, guys, thank you so much for being here. You guys are awesome here in the YouTube chat. Don't forget, as we get ready to wrap up, we have just recently launched this super chat thing. You guys are feel free to, I don't even know, do you guys buy packs or something for that? I don't know. It's just a way you can support the show and be kind of fun and interact and, and it's colorful and, and kind of goofy, all right? So uh, if you want to do that, that would be super great. Uh, take a look at the super chat. In the meantime, do visit our website uh, at TalkingTrekSTFC.online, TalkingTrekSTFC.online for links to all of our other content, including uh, us putting up today a Talking in Cars with DJs episode. Thank you, Stevens Aaron, for taking care of taping that. Talking in Cars with DJs uh, is online and being pushed, uh, was already pushed to all podcast platforms, so you guys can enjoy that. That's what we knew this morning. This is what we know tonight, and tomorrow, your regularly scheduled podcast, probably after another impromptu live stream, if we can get some materials from Panic. Uh, we're going to talk about that tomorrow and uh, lots of stuff still to come. Lots of content from this content creator team. Snake Eyes, your executive producer, thank you so much. Uh, Steven's Aaron doing a lot of extra work today. Thank you, Truck and Chick, being available for a long time today. Gregor, thank you uh, for all your contributions today. Ripper, thank you. Wham, thank you. Uh, you guys are the best. Thank you so very, very much. Without the community, we really don't have nothing going on over here, okay? So you guys are the best. Uh, Vita says, so we can sleep soon? Yes, I think, I think that's it. I think that's it for the night. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to bounce, and I want to thank you guys also very much for being here. My name is Ultimate DJs. Please visit us online at TalkingTrekSTFC.online, where you can find links to our patron program, all of our existing episodes. If you are here for the very first time on our YouTube channel, please be sure to subscribe before you leave and watch our other videos as well. Thank you guys so much. My name is Ultimate DJs. 